Doctor, how are my blood tests? Your cholesterol is dangerously high. You don't say. But I do say. If you are having difficulty hearing me, I can refer you for a brain scan. No thank you. What is my cholesterol level? A shockingly deadly 225. But a few years ago my cholesterol was 240 and you said that was normal. Normal has been changed. Who changed normal? A group of doctors formed an advisory panel. Ah, a group of independent researchers? No, a group of doctors who are leaders in developing cholesterol-lowering drugs. And you trust them even though they have a clear conflict of interest? Yes, I trust them. They are doctors. What do you suggest I do? There is help for you. Lipitu. I have seen their advertisements. It will help me? Yes, it is written in the New England Journal of Medicine. This is the latest research. It is the latest full-page advertisement. But a University of California study found that most people with heart disease actually have normal cholesterol. Yes, that is why we think normal should be even lower. Perhaps 100? Aren't you afraid that is too low? When I took physiology I learned that cholesterol is actually necessary for health. Cholesterol is used for making adrenal stress hormones, estrogen and testosterone. I can write you a prescription for testosterone. I hope that won't be necessary. Lipitor is always necessary. Independent researchers discovered that state and drugs don't work on women at all or anyone over 65 years old. That must have been bad research. I believe in the scientists that work for Lipitu. My children take Lipitu. But the brain and nervous system require cholesterol. Aren't you worried about their brain development? Their cholesterol will never be high. Cholesterol is like cancer, only fat. Ugh, cholesterol. What do you think of the fact that the French have high cholesterol but lower rates of heart disease? That is called the French paradox. We do not know why that happens, maybe the wine. And the Swiss also have higher cholesterol, but lower rates of heart disease. That would be the Swiss paradox. Perhaps the holes in their cheese. And the same in Spain? The Spanish paradox. Perhaps the bullfighting. However, in Russia they have lower cholesterol, but higher rates of heart disease. The Russian paradox. Communism is almost as bad as cholesterol for the heart. But when researchers analyzed all the data they found that state and drugs only help 1 to 2 percent of those taking them. The rest did not live any longer or actually died sooner. No, no. Not according to what the Lipita salesman tells me. Now, fill the prescription or you will die soon. So, unless I can move to France, Switzerland, or Spain, and stay far away from communism. You suggest I take Lipitor? Yes, otherwise you will die. Your wife will become a widow and your children orphans. Even though there is only a 1 or 2 percent chance that it will enable me to live longer. Yes, fill the prescription so that one day you can have the joy of seeing your grandchildren fill their prescriptions. Well, are there any side effects? No, nothing significant. But the package insert says Lipitor may cause headaches, muscle pain, kidney and liver damage. A small price to pay. Your arteries are filling with fat as we speak. Then you will do blood tests to monitor my liver function? Liver disease from Lipitor is not common. Is it more common than 1 to 2 percent because that is the chance that Lipitor will benefit me? Are you still having problems hearing me? L. I. P. I. T. O. R. Lipitor. If you do not take Lipitor I may have to call 911. But liver disease is the eighth leading cause of death from chronic disease, so I would like to take care of my liver. If you insist, I will monitor your liver function, testosterone, estrogen, and your cholesterol. Cholesterol, B, A, D, bad. Not for the French, Swiss, or Spanish. I do not deal in paradoxes. I deal in Lipitor. Now your eight minutes has expired. Fill your prescription for Lipitor or we have an ambulance ready to take you to the cemetery. I hope you understand how confusing this is.
There is no relationship between cholesterol and heart disease and little to no chance of it increasing my lifespan and yet you prescribe Lipitor. Yes, it is difficult to understand if you are not a doctor. It is called the Lipitor Paradox.